salve a tutti ragazzi da Alex da Lord siamo con un nuovo gioco una nuova avventura stiamo parlando di Alan Wake chi lo conosce chi non lo conosce chi non lo conosce lo guarderà con me intanto iniziamo subito la storia nuova avventura ragazzi cosa ci aspetterà? Ragazzi, siamo pronti per Alan Wake. New game, continuo di easy, normal o nightmare. Wow. Ah. Non so se fare normale. Ma io... Non so se fare normale... Nightmare non penso perché comunque... Proviamo easy va. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why. But there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan okay. Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. Mm. So yes, it began with a dream. Night, please. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some Stay urgent reason, reason for them I couldn't remember. I've been driving too fast no. down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Per un dito è un'altra parola. E ci sono due dita. Suddenly his body was gone. Sta facci pure a vedere. Ah, ragazzi, un po' di luce. Ma che la luce tipo. Diverso. Io però prima vorrei fare una cosa con Allora, dove andiamo? Ah, c'è poi. Ok. Ah, c'è poi. Ah, c'è poi. Ah, c'è poi. Ah, c'è Ok, 
Okay. Rain. Devo andare a... Ma la mappa c'è? C'è mappa? Sta lì giù. Cazzo, come pare facile. Ma si vado da qua? Cazzo esce a tutte le parti esce. Ritorno indietro. Mi sa che ho fatto una fine di merda. Hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your oppression? Cazzo, questo. Marcello sta combinando. Non c'è manco corre questo Sta mar sicuro? There was no way out.
capito, però porco. The light pole that you see in front of you is a crucial piece in the gameplay of Alan Wake. We call them safe haven. It's a spot of light in the midst of darkness. It provides you safety. Uh, while the enemies actually don't want to go into light, they also heal the player faster and act as a guidance uh, for the player. Every time you see light in front of you, that's usually a good direction to take. You are hurt. Go into the light. Go into the light. You'll be safe. You can rest there. takes control over Wake's dream to teach him how to fight the forces of darkness. The basic concept is simple. You turn the light on top of Taken and you can see the darkness burning away. After that, you are able to defeat the Taken with your revolver. This is a good opportunity to see how the light mechanics work. Turn the light on top of him and you can actually see a small halo forming around him. The halo gets smaller, the less darkness there is left. And you can clearly see a light effect when the shield is burned away. The combat mechanics were always designed around the idea that you face multiple enemies at once. In this tutorial you only get one enemy at a time, but in the field that comes after this you get two or three enemies at the same time. Then you get the proper feel of how the combat works. Be careful on who you are concentrating on or someone else might actually be uh, flanking you and trying to hit you in the back. Tacca dal cazzo. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on earth. Eh, onore un cazzo. No? Intanto vado a prendere un altro un po' di sta roba qua. Mamma mia!
quanti cazzo ne sono? Eh dai, adesso si stanca subito, oh mamma mia. Ah, mo te vai a vedere. Che cazzo c'è sta qua dentro? Che c'è sta avanti? No? Just another nightmare. Hey, baby. Everything's fine. You dozed off. I got off. Zotto, baby. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Allora, abbiamo visto che atleticamente è una è proprio una schiappa, perché tanto un corno questo. Già tanto riusciva a tenere qua la pistola a mano. E meno male che ho fatto quella più facile ragazzi, facevo quella natura proprio. Manco scendevo dalla macchina. Però è bella, la grafica è bella, il gioco è bello, bello tetro. The events of the game take place in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States. Uh, this is a beautiful region that has in the past been featured in numerous TV shows and movies like The Shining and Twin Peaks. It's famous and recognizable for many things like uh, fishing and mining and huge uh, redwood tree trunks the size of a bus, beautiful lighthouses. But I think the most recognizable and beautiful feature is the nature. It's an oceanic climate uh, combined with huge mountain ranges and dark forests. The oh, cool thing about it is that there's an enormous say. amount of moisture constantly flowing in from the Pacific Ocean and when it hits uh, the mountains it turns into fog. So the end result of that is that almost everywhere you look there's these dense wisps of fog lazily crawling on the mountains and hillsides and it really lends the area an almost uh, otherworldly feel. Oh. E dammi sta macchina. Se 
મારી વાગે Dunque, c'è la, quella cosa che se l'una è quello che sta... Ragazzo, guarda la gente. Eh, bravo. Do me a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Mamma, Bad just circulation! Yeah, are you this. serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. 
che ci metti? Yes, a spy favorite tune. Ma non è che Shut your mouth, you demented has been. I had my hair I shut it for you. Jeez. Mazza il pezzo io. Tune number 6 in the jukebox. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. E non ho capito che sto carrello sta qua in mezzo. Caffè molto lo via da solo no? Canzone del merda no? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. Ma signor, per continuare a fare così si salta la gola, lui si è salto. La waitress mi ha dato un dolore. La pubblica fan è sempre morta. Qua c'è un cazzo di nessuno. Questo è il bagno? Hello? Mr. Stucky? Che fine ha fatto sto... Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Va bene. Oddio, va bene, mica tanto. Cauldron Lake is a special place, very inspiring. Allora ragazzi, per il primo episodio va bene così. Se vi piace, so si sì, ho capito signor, state zitto, date una certa in testa, come a quello là. Ah. Se vi piace lasciate like e condividete e fatemi sapere se vi va di continuare questa serie con me. Noi ci vediamo al prossimo video. Ciao a tutti ragazzi, spero che vi piacerà.